What's up guys, Mikey Marketing Techie here with part two of my two part video answering what time is the best time to be making posts on your business's Facebook page. Now, in part one, we outlined some general times that work best on Facebook for the majority of businesses out there. In this part, however, we're going to go ahead and assume that you've been following those guidelines or you have an already active page that's been up for some substantial period of time and you've accumulated some sort of audience and following. As such, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stats that Facebook gives us completely free of charge and find out just when the majority of our audience is actually on Facebook. And if we know this, we're able to find out what time is best to post because we know that if we make a post at this time, most of our audience is on Facebook at that time to see. So in order for us to go ahead and determine when the biggest portion of our pages, Facebook audience is actually online, open up your page and click the insights tab up above. Now we get a ton of awesome data that gives us a lot of information about our specific audience for our business page. However, for this specific video, go ahead and click on posts. Now when we go on posts, we're going to go ahead and see one week's worth of data that shows when most of our audience was actually on Facebook during the last week. So if we take a look at here specifically, we see that the biggest portion of our audience actually comes online for this specific page anyway, really way before noon. Nine o'clock in the morning is kind of the peak and key time for this specific audience which for me makes sense because I have a lot of overseas traffic because I have a lot of different development content over on rapidpurple.com and as such we get a lot of different traffic from people that are learning that in countries all over the world. So that makes complete sense for me and looking at this data I'm able to determine that I really shouldn't be making posts during the general suggested timelines because so much of my audience is not really there during that time. As such, I may want to completely change my strategy as far as when I make posts. Now, I have a very different type of Facebook page, and you're probably going to get stats that are entirely different from what I have. And it's very well possible that your stats and the specs and the graph that you're going to get when you go into the insights for your specific page may very well coincide with all of the data that we put out in part one of this whole entire video series. In either way, if you've watched part one and part two of this video series, then you have a pretty good idea at when you should be making Facebook posts for your business. Any more questions, guys, leave them down in the comment section below, and as always, I'll do my best to try to answer them. Like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, share it with your friends. See you soon.